when my hair is done, I feel like a better human being. Like I have more to contribute to life. Like I'm just a better version of myself. I'm a part of something big. And the doctor just came and she was like, And I'm just like, what's funny? I can't find this feeling, feeling. I can't. Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. I came home from work this morning and I literally, I just, I just changed my sheets. Honestly, before I was that girl who I was into more of like colored, sheets and this and that and right now i'm into more of like the you know muted tones the neutrals of right now i have this color fitted on because honestly i buy duvets and none of the well they do have okay i just need to take care of that and then i have this pink duvet cover on but in the summer months i don't put the duvet insert inside of the duvet cover somebody's car is going off outside because it's too, it's kind of hot. I mean, I could put it in, but honestly, it's quite the process and I can't even be bothered. So I used, um, since I woke up, I woke up sometime after 4, like 4.50 or something crazy like that. And I did that and I also prepped my uniform that I'm going to wear tonight. And, um, that's so annoying. Let's bring you up here. Okay, let's stop. So I prepped my uniform that I'm going to wear tonight. And I also found something to eat. But last night was such a mentally and physically exhausting night. I couldn't... Uh, it was so hard. I had um, a psych patient that I was doing a one-to-one -one on. And oh my god. I tried my hardest. I felt like... I don't even know. I can't... There's nothing that I can honestly compare to to make it... Um... I don't even know. There's just nothing that I can compare it to. Nothing at all. So I came home, I showered, and I've been sleeping since this morning. I popped by the grocery store because I wanted to get some groceries, but when I was there, that was like 7.55 or something. And then I wanted to get delivery because um, I was coming from work when I stopped there. And the delivery does not start until 1 p.m. in the day. I don't know how that makes sense. But then I'm just like, it don't make no sense to buy the stuff right now and leave it sitting there until 1 p.m. in the day. So I'm like, I'm going to just go home and if I wake up on time, I'll just walk back out there and get the groceries. And the guy gave me a paper and he was like, you could just call an order. But I feel like I'd prefer to do that on a platform like Instacart as opposed to calling the store and telling them the things that I need for them to pick it out. I don't really know. But, um, or maybe tomorrow morning when I'm coming home, I'll, well, that would give me the same problem. Oh, I don't really know, but I I wanna I wanna go to the grocery store because I wanna get some some things inside here. Oh, so that's another story for another day. So that just didn't work out this morning. I came home, I showered, and I slept from 8 a.m. to literally almost 5 p.m. I was so exhausted just dealing with the lady. It took everything you have mentally and everything you have physically because she was. It, she was having let me google it before I say it she was having seizures but um I guess the doctors I'm not gonna say that term because when I google it it's not what but whatever she was having seizures but I think the doctors that were on call last night and the hospital that I work at is a teaching hospital the ones who were on call last night had determined that she was basically faking the seizures maybe she had real ones but she was also faking seizures in between the real ones. So it was so exhausting because they were happening so often. At one point, I was tracking them, like just writing down on a piece of paper how often they were happening. And they were literally happening uh, right now. It's 5.58, 5.58 for 20 seconds, 5.59, 5, 6 o'clock, 6.01. You know what I'm saying? And then I noticed that while they were happening so often, she was also sitting up. Like she would start seizing five seconds and then she was just sitting up and I'm just like wait a minute what is going on I've never seen that happen before and I've seen somebody who has epilepsy fell out seizing and that's not nothing that they could have sat up 
you know, in between. But I also felt like, considering the fact that I started the shift knowing that they said um, she is faking some of the seizures, that really had just thrown me off. Obviously, that did not affect my love, love, care for her. But still, you know, I'm just like, God, I would have preferred to not know. But also, if I didn't know, I would have kept calling the nurse. All the, I'm telling you, we're all so exhausted last night. At one point, I felt like the entire night staff was in the room just trying to help, trying to see what was going on. And the doctor just came and she was like... And I'm just like, what's funny? And then she had a haplock and the haplock was in her foot. Normally, the haplock is in their foot. They're either a very difficult stick. Nine times out of ten, they're a very difficult stick and that's probably the only vein that they could find. Or, you know, when the, when the haplock is in some weird position, you up somewhere up here, you know. They're a very difficult stick. It's hard to find the veins. Or, you know, they just don't want to put it in areas where they could take it out because people take them out sometimes, you know. And so the haplock was in her foot. She was getting something. I had to monitor her because the haplock was in her foot. And then it just got so bad to the point where it just came out and it was a rough rough night i'm telling you she started fighting she started jumping up out of the bed mentally and physically exhausting i couldn't even sleep on my break and i felt like in addition to not being able to sleep on my break and just having such a mentally and physically exhausting night when i came home all i could do was just sleep this morning i didn't even eat breakfast i ate a load of macadamia nut cookie that I had on the counter and I went to sleep. I've been sleeping from 8 a.m. this morning to almost 5 p.m. So, so tired. So right now I feel very well rested right now at 6 o'clock. I feel very well rested. Bro, I hate when people who maybe you went to high school with them or maybe, yeah, because that's the situation. I went to high school with them randomly hits me up every now and then oh my gosh i love this phone case and it's so on brand for like my scrubs and everything but whatever we went to high school together and ever so often he randomly messages me also my mom and his mom were really close friends so you know he'll randomly message me and and these favors that he's asking boy i get it at one point in life we were very close because our moms were kind of inseparable but also that's years ago what makes you feel like you can call me now years later and just ask me to do the most random things, things that I'm not even... He said it's something that he would have wanted me to do for him, but he doesn't know if I can. Okay, well, you're going to have to tell me what it is so we can both determine if I can or not. And it's so crazy because I remember when I was going to high school with him, his mom was top notch. Like, she, she was a teacher. She was really good, a really good teacher. And the boy just was not interested in academics at all. He would have been a light in the society had he just, you know what I mean? But like, to each his own, like, I'm not even judging him. Like, that was just his path in life. What can I say? I feel like I'm talking about so many things. Yes, last night was mentally exhausting. I'm glad it's over. I go back tonight. Hopefully they've decided on something to do with her because the floor that I work on is not a psych unit and she needed a psych eval. Honestly, too much was going on. So now that we've wrapped up that story now, God, I've been talking for 10 minutes. I changed my, my, I can't even show y'all right now. I'll just later. I've changed my sheets and everything and uh, um basically ready to go to work right now i'm gonna go outside and see if i can i had some oatmeal i'm gonna eat some oatmeal right now and then later i don't really know what i'm gonna eat later honestly maybe i'm gonna have to buy something when i get to work to eat while i'm at work because you know food here that's also very exhausting but like what can i do because i'm not ordering nothing right now I don't know. Anyways, later. I'm waiting on my friend and I'm ready to go. But one thing's for sure. And two things for certain. When my hair is done, I feel like a better human being. Like I have more to contribute to life. Like I'm just a better version of myself. I'm a part of something big. That's how I feel. 
my phone is at 98% and I have this thing about me where I really do like when my phone is fully charged. So right now the phone is charging. I just had an idea. I just had the brightest idea to get to, you know, those metal, those metal racks. As you speak, I'm going to put a picture here. I think I should put on that wall over there. I'm going to show you all the wall in a minute. Pull this back up a little bit. Should I do that? It's one thing about me. When my room is clean, I'm the happiest, healthiest version of myself. And that's exactly what I am right now. I'm also thinking, what if I got rid of this chest of drawer and I got another IKEA unit to put in the corner right there to put more clothes in? I think I'm onto something. I need to explore that a little bit more because it's one thing about me. Sometimes I'm a lot of irrational and right now that might be it. Okay, let's not think about that. Ready for work and I have my little pick-me-up, a little Milky Way bar. My coworker and friend gave it to me this morning when I was leaving. She forgot to give it to me last night, but also last night was such a damn stressful night. Anybody would have forgotten anything. I also packed some grocery bags. So I packed some grocery bags so that in the morning I could possibly stop by the grocery store. And I have bags. So there's that. Let me show you guys the corner. What I'm thinking is I would pull that back out a little bit put the two racks on the wall one up to the top of the closet and one like midway there to hang things on additionally so there's that idea but also i'm a bit ocd and i don't really like when things are exposed so there's also that so i gotta work on that but also i was thinking if i got rid of this and put like a system here you know what i mean that's also a thought i don't know